Good day and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video, which was also my first video, I covered the various aspects of the Decampo model, which is a production system that I use to raise sheep on the coastal clay soils of Guyana, South America. If you have not seen this video, please click on the notification bar below for a link to it. There are many ways of raising sheep. And no one way is the best. Every production system has its own advantages and disadvantages. Each producer needs to develop a system that matches his or her own goals and resources and that provides the greatest return on investment. For example, in my case, the limiting factor was the availability of land for pasture, just 2.5 acres. In order to maximize the current capacity of these pastures, I chose to use a zero grazing system with the sheep being housed in a raised slotted floor pen. Today I will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the decamper model of sheep production. There are many advantages of zero grazing sheep and housing them in a raised slotted floor pen. The first being the increased stock in density which refers to the number of sheep that you can continuously graze on an acre of pasture. This is probably the most significant advantage of the decamper model and varies greatly between grazing systems. As you can see, if you open graze on improved pastures, you can get between five and eight sheep per acre. Open graze improved on a grass pastures, you can get between eight and 12 sheep per acre. If you rotationally graze, the improved tanner grass pasture you can get between 12 and 20 sheep per acre. However, if you zero graze using grass from improved tanner grass pastures, you can attain a stock in density of over 35 sheep per acre. The second advantage is less problems with internal parasites. Of all the internal parasites, the barber pole worm causes the most problems in sheep and goats who continuously reinfect themselves while grazing on pasture. Unless they are regularly dewormed, they will soon die. This regular deworming increases your cost, not only for the dewormers, but for the labor and time involved in doing this. And then there is the additional problem of the parasites developing resistance to the dewormers. Since in the camper model, all the sheep are kept indoors and slotted floors all the time, there is no chance of any of the sheep coming into contact with internal parasite larvae. This eliminates the need to deworm the sheep, yet they are kept free of internal parasites. This can have significant cost benefits as outlined above. The third advantage is less problems with foot rot which is one of the most common diseases that affects sheep. It is usually spread from infected animals into the soil and then to the non-infected feet of healthy animals. This process is facilitated by moist, dirty surroundings that is often found in sheep pens with clay or concrete floors or in pastures during the wet season. In the decamper model, the sheep are kept on raised slotted floors which allows their feet to be kept dry at all times. And since they never are exposed to foot rot bacteria, they live a life free of foot rot. Again, this results in significant savings in the cost of foot rot medication and labor, as one does not have to constantly treat cases of foot rot. In addition to this, there is no loss in body condition as a result of the sheep not grazing properly during the, due to the pain associated with this disease. The fourth advantage of the camper model is very low lamb mortality. Because the lambs are never exposed to inclement weather and can be monitored very closely during and after birth, there should be very little lamb mortality. The lamb's navel can be treated soon after birth the dam can be checked quite easily to ensure that she has adequate milk 
Welding lamps can be monitored closely to ensure that they receive adequate classroom and later milk, thereby ensuring that the lamps receive a good start in life. During our first year of operation, we experienced only 2.3% lamb mortality. The fifth advantage is greater control over production. As a result of you being in total control of the environment that the sheep live in, you ultimately have greater control over production. Being in total control of all their nutritional needs is just one example of this. An example of better nutrition is the ability to creep feed your lambs thereby giving them the best possible start in life. The sixth advantage is the more efficient use of energy. Another benefit of the sheep being confined is that most of the energy from the feed they use is for growth and not on traveling to and from pasture. The seventh advantage is that there is no exposure to predators. Since the sheep, especially the lambs, are kept confined, there is no chance of them being exposed to predators. This is a cause of high mortality in open grazing systems. The eighth advantage is the no loss to stealing. Once again, because the sheep are housed full-time in pens that are usually very close to the farmer's own house, theft of sheep is unlikely to take place under this production system. However, in most other forms of grazing systems, this can be a major problem. The ninth advantage is that 100% of the sheep manure is available to fertilize pastures. Sheep manure is a coal manure, so it can be applied to pastures immediately after removal from below the sorted floor pens, without requiring time to decompose. Animal manure not only fertilizes your pastures, but also improves the soil structure, thereby leading to improved yields of grass. Better quality grass leads to higher, faster weight gains. And finally, the tenth advantage is that the animals are easier to handle. Because the sheep are kept in confinement, and interact with the shepherd on a daily basis. They get tamer and easier to handle. This is especially true of those sheep born into a zero grazing system. There are no, not as many disadvantages as there are advantages of the Decampo model of sheep production. One disadvantage or potential disadvantage however, is a lack of exercise. I refer to this as a potential disadvantage. Since we have now almost completed our second year of operation and have not noticed any adverse effects of this on any of our sheep. We are aware of this potential problem and have recently enclosed an exercise area where our sheep can be exercised for a couple of hours two to three times a week. The second disadvantage often stated is that our system is more labor intensive. This is not true in Guyana on the open grazing system on pastures. In my operation, which presently caters for eight to five sheep of various ages, the operation requires just two employees to efficiently handle the system. However, if I chose to graze these animals on pasture. I will require at least two, if not more, employees. This is because of the high incidence of theft and predators. As a result of this, I would have to have at least one employee be with the sheep during the day to ensure no losses occur. Two employees if I chose to graze males separate from the females. These two employees would do the maintenance tasks. So our system is no more labor intensive than others. The third disadvantage 
is that our system requires greater investment. And I agree with this. Because of the requirement to provide adequate housing, which in the tropics under zero grazing system, we require the construction of a raised slotted floor pen. Plus the cost of the additional equipment necessary to cut, transport and chop the grass. Your investment in the system of sheep production will be higher. However, having said that, most of the progressive sheep farmers that I know in Guyana, although they open graze their animals, they also have raised slotted floor pens in which the sheep are housed at night. Therefore, some of the expense of the raised slotted floor pen will also apply to their systems of production. The final disadvantage of our system is it has higher overheads. However, while this may be true, the higher overheads which covers all additional costs in the supply of forage and feed will be more than much by the savings generated from increased stock in density, low lamb mortality, low internal parasite control and foot and rot treatment costs, and no costs attached to predators or theft. That brings us to the end of our video for today. Thank you for watching, and I sincerely hope that you have enjoyed this presentation. Please feel free to comment below and let me know what you think of this video. If you have any advantages or disadvantages to suggest, or simply to ask me to clarify any questions you may have. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.